Hello everyone, I'm Maria Heller and I'm Wana Heller and we own a tiny business making gothic and fantasy clothing for women. In today's video we're going to talk about something else though. If you're a subscriber you know we usually make videos about designing and sewing, but this is the second video in our series about house hunting in the Transylvanian countryside. If you want to see the first one, click the link in the top right corner of your screen. In the first video, we talked about our obsessive dream to one day own a house, how we saved up, the difficulties we faced along the way, what we were actually looking for in a property, or non-negotiables, and our first house hunting attempts back in 2019 when we visited several properties. In this video, we're going to show you the properties we visited in the summer of 2021 and the house we decided to buy. I made this drawing back in 2010 or 2011, we don't know for sure. It shows our dream life, which is a secluded house next to a forest, big garden, chicken, big fluffy dog. Yeah. <laughs> so it took us a decade of not so healthily dealing with money uh, to finally save up for this one dream. Another very important criteria was we wanted no neighbors nearby. Uh, we wanted for the property to be near a forest or a river or both or both yes in the mountain region and secluded in terms of utilities we wanted nothing but electricity from the grid and if you were to buy an old house our budget was completely dependent on the condition of the house whether we can renovate it and save it or if we had to tear it down and build from scratch so our budget was 10,000 euros for an empty plot of land and uh, 20,000 euros for a plot of land with salvageable house. house. Yeah, on it, that could be renovated. The houses we've seen. First house, the one we've actually seen with a real estate agent from Campia Turzi. This house was not normally what we were looking for and the agent pushed us to see it though it was out of our budget. But in the end, I'm glad we've seen it because we had a comparison term as we were narrowing down our search. House 1. Sat Jacobeni, Comuna Chanumare, Județ Cluj. Price 35,000 euro. It was a big farmhouse in a very good condition, minimal renovation needed. It has three big rooms and a hallway, separately a summer kitchen. A very big barn next to the house, very sturdy, with a roomy barn attic for hay storage. All the buildings and outbuildings had good corrugated metal roofing. In the yard was a well and concrete walkway joining all the outbuildings of the house. The house also had a cellar, a big vegetable garden, a few fruit trees. There was electricity, phone reception, smokehouse, bread oven and the property was nicely fenced. Land size 1.9 hectares of farmland around the house. Road to the door. Plus, the house is in a good condition. Minimal renovation needed. It looks good enough to move in fast before we build the atelier. Minus, Cluj County. Way over budget. It's not in the mountains. The location isn't ideal. There's no forest around, only hills of farmland and sunflowers. Another minus, there are neighbors across the street and a few hundred meters away there's a retirement home run by the church. Which could be a problem as we're atheistic and quite outspoken against the Romanian church. House 2. Sat Burlesht Comuna Mogos Judez Alba, 21,000 euro. We found this one in a Facebook group. It was posted by a real estate agency. I called the agent and we decided to meet up somewhere close to the village and then proceed to the village in the agent's off road car. We absolutely loved the area as a whole, however, there was a big immediate problem. A few days before I got in touch with the agent, there were strong storms in the mountains and a few main rivers flooded. The Mogosh house wasn't affected in the storm, but the road to the house was ripped apart by the small mountain creek. 
This property was on top of a tall mountain hill and hard to access to begin with. You'd normally need to walk uphill for about half a kilometer. But since the road was washed out, you needed to walk for around two kilometers to even see the house. You couldn't get there with any car, not even with a tractor, that's how mangled the old road got. More than that, this house was one of the three others in that part of the village, and the only one which actually needed that particular road. So if we bought this house, we needed to somehow convince the city hall to fix the road just for us. Which, if you've ever needed anything from the Romanian state, you know it's a lost game to begin with. Then, once you're on the property, you have to climb uphill a very steep hill in order to get to the house. Decades ago, there was an old carriage road, but it got overgrown and was no longer accessible. The hill was about 20 degrees steep. I'm not even exaggerating, we were going uphill helping ourselves by holding on to shrubs and grass. Now, let's see the house itself once the climb is over. It's a beautiful traditional mountain house with river stone foundation, the walls handmade of square wood beams, two rooms and a porch. The house hasn't been lived in for decades and requires major renovation. The roof is made of ceramic shingles. The house also has an attic, but Maria was afraid to check it out. Under the porch, there's a nice area like a summer kitchen. The house had electricity, but the well was out of order and needed to be remade. On the same property, there was a beautiful old barn in which a neighbor kept their cow. Land size. It was divided in three pieces. The land around the house was 6,000 square meters. A piece of land next to the house was very elongated and very, very steep, 608,000 square meters, and then further away, another 19,000 square meters surrounded by forest. Plus, decent price, gorgeous area, on the mountainside, isolated, no neighbors, big property, lots of trees, close to a forest, close to a river a very silent area, a good-looking house with a sturdy foundation. Minus. Basically no access road. From the highway, there's no way to get to the house by car, by any car. Nobody knows how long it would take the city hall to fix the damaged road, since there are no other inhabitants in that area. And even if they do fix the road, what guarantee do you have that the same thing won't repeat next year? And the city hall would only make the road as it was. You'd still need a bridge across the river and an access road on the property. The house was also old and abandoned for ages and you'd need a lot of money and a lot of work to make it livable. With a lack of road on the property, it would be very difficult to transport building equipment and supplies. Way too difficult. Remember, at this point I was still a very beginner driver, so after a few weeks we dared looking further from our comfort zone, which is Judetul Cluj, in the mountain regions of Hunedoara. House number 3. Sat după piatră, Comuna Buces, Județ Hunedoara. 32,000 euros. The house. It's old, it hasn't been lived in for 30 years. We haven't seen it inside because the person who took us to see the house didn't have the key, but the outside wasn't looking great. Ceramic tile roof, river rock foundation. The walls are made of wood and clay, or kirpich. Next to the house was a big barn made of brick, and honestly, the barn looked way better than the house itself. Land. 1.4 hectares in two different pieces, one around the house and the other piece a distance away. The land around the house was steep, while the other piece of land was more flat. There were lots of trees on the property. Access road. There's asphalt up to an area, then 300 meters of dirt road, only accessible by jeep. From there, you had to use a shared access road that was on a neighbor's property. Papers. 
They started the process in May, but in August there was no official paperwork. Plus, gorgeous area, isolated, neighbors not too close. The house was next to the forest, in the mountain region. There was phone reception and internet reception, a well on the property, plus pipes that took the water inside the house. Minus. Over budget. Way over budget. The buildings are too old and too deteriorated to be worth it for us. 300 meters of dirt road. House number four. Sat dupa piatra, comuna Buces, județ Hunedoara. Price? Undecided. So, this is a funny story. Just as we were leaving from the house we just saw, we stopped on the side of the road to set our GPS and get something from the trunk. We sat there for a couple of minutes. There were two women talking in the threshold of the gate of the house in front of which we stopped. And after one of them left, the other lady asked us if everything was fine, if we needed anything. So we started talking. We told her we were not from the area and we just visited a house for sale. She quickly let us know her family also has a house for sale and we decided on the spot to go see it. The lady climbed in our car and told us how to get to the house. So this is the fourth house we saw. The house itself. Old, made of brick, plastered. It's been uninhabited but looks better than the previous house and bigger. We haven't seen the inside. There's a big bar next to the house made of brick, solid with a sturdy attic. There are two big cellars and a terrace-like area under the house. The land is one hectare around the house. Lots of fruit trees. The road. Uphill, tight road up to a point, then 300 meters of dirt road. The dirt road ended next to a neighbor's property, then you needed to pass by the neighbor's barn on his property to get to the house. You'd need to make your own road from the dirt road. Plus, gorgeous area, isolated, no nearby neighbors next to the forest in the mountains. There's phone reception and internet reception, a well on the property. The house and the barn are in a decent condition. Minus. No paperwork. No access road. The house wasn't even properly listed for sale. And the lady that showed us the house was a co-owner who had no guarantee the other co-owners would actually want to sell it in our budget. House number five. Sat Calugarești, Comuna Avramiancu, Județ Alba. 25,000 euro. The house. Old and abandoned for 15 years. Stone River Foundation. Walls made of beams and clay plastered on the inside. The house has electricity and a functional well on the property. On the ground floor, there is a summer kitchen and two cellars. Upstairs, you first enter into a hallway and then you have two rooms, one smaller and one bigger. At the end of the hallway, there is a pantry where you can make a bathroom. The house also has an attic which is accessible to the hallway with a ladder. The roof is made of corrugated metal. There are no leaks. We have actually visited this attic. Next to the house is a bread oven and a well. The house was very, very close to the road, maybe a meter away from the dirt road. The land, three hectares in one big piece next to the house. The land is fenced in by an old wood fence. The plot of land becomes steeper at some point than it dips dramatically. Basically, the property is stretching over two hills and in the small narrow valley between them. There is a huge height difference on the property. The hill leading to the valley is so steep you cannot descend it on foot with no railing or no rope to hold into. 
It was also very hard to film this as I was scared to go too close to the steep section and it was full of trees and vegetation so you couldn't see how deep the valley got. Even with these terrain difficulties we liked the land and the area very much. We imagined we could build earth and wood steps and a railing to help us walk to the valley and back much easier. On the hill ahead there was just forest and the nature looked gorgeous. Road. Again, you needed to go uphill on a dirt road for a few hundred meters before you reached the house. It wasn't accessible with a regular car and the road was very steep and very narrow. Paperwork. Not updated. The seller was in her late 60s and legally the house still belonged to her deceased parents. They didn't even have the succession started. Could take more than a year to finish the papers. Pluses. Gorgeous area, mountain, isolated, quiet so far. There is a creek on the property, a forest nearby, the land is big, the house is handsome and can be consolidated and renovated beautifully. Phone and internet reception. Minuses. The steep dirt road. There are left and right neighbors, rather close to the house, and while both houses were currently empty, that can always change. Another minus. No paperwork. Another minus. In order to reach this village, you needed to drive through another village, which looked very bad and inhospitable. All the houses were huddled together and built haphazardly, many of them out of mismatched building equipment discarded by others. As we were driving through the village, there were rowdy children in various stages of undress on the street, and in the evening, when we returned after the viewing, the inhabitants placed tables and chairs on the road, transforming it into an outside living room. As we wanted to pass, they got angry that we had the audacity to have them gather their tables and chairs so we could pass on the street. As the name said, Comuna Avramiancu is the birthplace of the Romanian revolutionary Avramiancu and the place of his memorial home, which means tourism and crowds, both things we'd like to avoid. And the last house we visited in the summer of 2021, house number six, Județ Hunedoara. Price, 26,000 euro. The house, it's about 50 square meters with the foundation made of river stones. The walls are made of squared hardwood beams, clay and plaster. The roof is made of ceramic shingles. In the yard, there's an old barn made of wood as well and a collapsed stone cellar. The yard is big, 600 square meters. In the yard are lots of fruit trees such as apples, plum trees and lots and lots of walnut trees. Behind the house, there is a forest. Across the street, the river Krish. Our neighbor on the left side is a pasture. And 500 meters away, there is a summer cabin. No neighbors on the right side, just a piece of the mountain and a narrow dirt road. In the same package as the house are two more farmlands situated up on the hill. Total plot size, 3 hectares, including 1 hectare of deciduous trees, which is basically the forest behind the house. Paperwork Updated Pluses There is asphalt road literally to the doorstep. There are street lights in the village. It's a beautiful knit village with well-kept houses and fields. It's a scattered mountain village with basically no neighbors close by. There are forests all over. The river is just across the street. The yard is big and flat. There are huge adult walnut trees on the property, which are Maria's favorite nuts. Minuses. The house is rather old and small. It's not the prettiest house we've seen. The price is kind of steep. The house doesn't have a bathroom and the well needs to be redug. The two properties we liked the most were Avramiancu and the last one in Hunedoara. 
we knew it's going to be one of these two. In the end, the cons of the Avramianku were too much. No paperwork, no access road. So we chose the last house we saw. That's why we didn't tell you the village. We were both worried we'll never be able to decide because what if we like another property more, one we didn't see yet? How do you know when to stop looking for a house? But in the end, we realized that the last property we saw had pretty much everything we were looking for in the mountains, the forest nearby as well as the river. A big plot of land, access road and the paperwork was done so we could actually hope to buy it fast and begin renovations which wasn't the case for many of the others. The only con of the last one was that it was a bit over budget and the other cons could be fixed. Like rebuilding the well and renovating the house. At the end of the day, if it's on your private property, anything that's man-made can be fixed in time. So any house can be renovated, but you cannot change the landscape. You cannot change the nature around it. You also cannot change a road that is not on your property, it's against the law. Yes, we could buy a 4x4 car to get to a property that doesn't have asphalt road, but what about everyone else who needs to access it for renovations? What about contractors, delivery of goods, like windows and doors and so on? And then, after we moved in, after we're living there, we need delivery cars to reach us because we run a business from home and we want to keep on running this business. We need delivery vans to pick up our orders, so the road was very important. And we decided to buy the one piece of land we liked the most, which had an access road and which had a very beautiful location. After we made our choice, we stopped visiting other properties just like you stop dating once you find a partner you like. Thank you so much for joining us for this second video in our cottage series. Sorry it took so long for this video to be put together. We are going through a little legal hiccup involving our architect, which is eating up a lot of our time and mental energy. If you like this video and you want to see more of our house related adventures, please like this video, subscribe and follow us on social media. You can always support our work by joining Patreon or by purchasing something from our shop. All links are below in the description box. See you in the next video. Bye! Hello everyone, I'm Maria Heller. And I'm Juana Heller. Did she ask? I don't know what she wants. House number three. Sat după piatră, comuna Buceș, județ Hunedoara. 32... Shit, am uitat cum îl cerea mii.